What is going on guys? So today I got a video to show you how to move files from your phone to an external hard drive or a server or something in your local network. Um, what you're going to need here, obviously this is going to be an Android tutorial, but I'm sure this works for Apple as well because I believe this is for both Apple and Android, but for the sake of this video, this is for Android. So the app we'll need is called Solid Explorer File Manager. It's on the Google Play Store here. All you have to do is search Solid Explorer. Um, and you'll see it's the second option here. There's a sponsored thing right there. Have you That's ever what we want? We want Solid Explorer File Manager. Um, it's got great reviews, 4.5, 10 million downloads. One thing though, it gives you a 14 day trial. So I recommend just trying it out over the trial period, seeing if you like it, and then it'll cost about three or four dollars to buy the full version. I'm not one to buy apps, but this one is absolutely worth it. I'll show you guys why, but because it allows you to just see Wanted all the to files protect, on your phone protect your files. and just move them very easily. So anyways, once you install it, you just want to open it up here and you'll probably be brought to a My Files folder here. So that's like basically all the files within your phone. As you can see, there's downloads, documents, movies, music, podcasts, Snapchat saved things, and then maybe some folders you've created yourself. But like for example, your downloads folder, you can see absolutely everything you download and so forth. But that's not the sake of this video. So let's say we wanna move some of these files over to an external hard drive or a server. What do we do? So we hit the hamburger menu here and you'll see I already have my server here. It's called K2SO. It's like a Star Wars reference. But anyways, what you would want to do is you hit the top three dots here next to the gear icon and then you're going to want to click storage manager. So you'll see my server is mapped out here. We're going to want to click the plus button on the bottom here. And we actually have a bunch of different connection types. So you can do Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, like a bunch of cloud services. What we're going to pick here, though, is LAN SMB. Okay, so click Next. And right now it's just going to search for servers on your network. I'm already connected um, to my own server here. I guess that's like my neighbor's server that I'm seeing. I shouldn't be seeing that. But anyways, I'm connected to this server here. This is mine. So I'm going to click next. And then we're going to want to do username password. Up to you if it's guest, but usually you have a username password set up for your external hard drive, even within your network, you should. So let's click next. And then you log in with your username and password, blah, blah, blah. And you know what, let me just do this and I'll edit this out. We are on the next screen here. And basically it's going to ask you to set up advanced don't even worry about this just click no we have a review here so this is a LAN connection that's my server that's the port number username password i'm going to blank that out you're not going to see anything so you're not going to see my username even and then all you have to do is click this connect button click finish and now there's two things mapped here. So I have my old server. They're the same thing. I just named them differently now. But if you go back, and if I click in, you'll be able to see my server. And I have like a bunch of things here. Um, but let's just say I want to create a new folder and just move some things in here. So I'll do new folder. We're gonna do this for testing for video, click OK. Here's the new folder on my server. Um, and as you can see, you'll probably see it <laughs> on both instances, testing for video. So I'm gonna delete one of these afterwards. Um, but anyways, doesn't matter. I have the same server map twice now. So let's go back to my internal memory. Let's go to downloads and copy something over. Let's copy my resume. So just hold onto the file click copy and now you have the paste option but do not just click paste here you're going to want to swipe from the left hand side over to bring this back and then click on your server and then go into the server and then go into the folder you made and now we can paste it boom just like that we put a file on our external hard drive from our phone now you can grab it from any device that also accesses this external hard drive 
it's kind of like you got your own cloud service on your network so that's pretty much it guys you know that's all there is to this this app is fantastic you can do things like that you can see all the files in your in your phone move them around no bs no ads you just have to pay for the full version after you're done with the trial that's it so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you did drop a like don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching